Well, Dr. Brandon, let's um, uh, let's talk about uh, glaucoma. Um, uh, you know, again, please tell us, um, you know, really, you know, what is it and how does it affect us? Um, not just what is it clinically and uh, you know what gets what gets out of whack in the eye, but how do we now see the world or start seeing the world as we develop glaucoma? Well. If glaucoma were left to develop, you would start to see the world as if you're in a tunnel. And you still have your central vision, but the peripheral vision starts to come in on you like a tunnel. Mm. So that means I have glaucoma because my wife constantly keeps telling me I'm tunnel visioned. <laughs> Maybe you do. Have you had your eyes checked lately? <laughs> All right. So you, you kind of like start, um, I guess the way they put on horses, on race horses, so that they only see. But that's of course not good for us people in life. That affects uh, driving, seeing the people on the side, I guess playing playing some sports and all that. It, be, it becomes obviously, I can see how that, you know, how a tunnel vision, uh, if you cannot see very, uh, you know, in, uh, outside, that that becomes a handicap. Um, how oh, does yeah. it? How does it go on? Once it does it go narrow and narrower, they'll finally you don't see it all anymore. Or what? How does it? Well, happen? if it's left untreated, it would get narrower and narrower until there's just a small island of probably 20/20 vision in the middle. I would imagine it's a little bit like looking through binoculars. You know, if you have your full field of vision, you could see the cardinal in the tree, the flash of red. But you know how when you put the binoculars up, sometimes you cannot find it. So it's hard to find that sweet spot when you only have one little tiny sweet spot of vision right 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 right, right. well you can't see anything except that little, that little tiny thing okay so and, and how how can that be uh, treated uh, I, I have heard somewhere that glaucoma is completely preventable um, if you treat it uh, correctly and in time uh, is, is that true and if so how well um, depends on how you think about it. It's it's somewhat true. In school, they taught us that glaucoma is like a slow march to blindness, and our job as clinicians is to find if you if the person has glaucoma and to treat it so that we can slow that march down to the point where they're going to die of old age before they get the effects of the glaucoma. So mm-hmm. our goal in treatment is definitely to stop. The blindness, but there are still people who do become blind from glaucoma. Mm-hmm. And if that happens, it cannot be corrected. If that happens, that's right. Glaucoma, um, like, let's say you wait, um, you're 30 and you don't get an exam until you're 45 because you have good vision and now you came in just because you needed a bifocal. Let's say that you started having glaucoma five years ago, and I found somewhat of a visual field loss. Some of that side vision is missing. We can't get that back. But what we can do is try to slow down so that more doesn't happen or whatever happens next is going to happen in a very slow fashion. I see. Is that done with surgery, medicine, with uh, specific glasses? How is it done? Usually we start with eye drops. So drops placed on the eye. Sometimes one times a day depends on the type of medicine, sometimes more times a day. Uh, there are also surgeries available. So when me- what tends to happen is the medicines work. We try a new medicine, and, and in- when we've gone through all our um, library of medicines, um, we consider surgery. And even surgery, they just do a little bit at a time because they want to leave always something else that we can do so we don't have it run out of our options before the person is um, gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see. Okay. I also have heard that, um, I think it is with glaucoma that I've heard that, that uh, while it is a slow march to uh, blindness, apparently uh, some people fall over the edge literally overnight and they kind of wake up and go, holy cow, I, I don't see you. I see very, very, very badly, meaning it goes all of a sudden very fast. Um, is, is there some truth to that? Well, there are two kinds of glaucoma. One is chronic open angle glaucoma, and that's kind of the type I was describing. But there is an acute angle closure type of glaucoma. That kind of glaucoma, you're, 
you're going to have severe pain in the eye, and you may be nauseous, um, and you're going to the emergency room because you, your eyes are just so painful. And um, so when we do a routine eye exam, we also check what, what's called the angle of the eye, the angle between your iris and the cornea. It's called the angle, and that's kind of where the fluid comes out and drains. And if that angle gets shut, it's like the drain being clogged, and the, where if the fluid can't get out the normal route, it, it just the pressure in the eye builds too suddenly. The chronic open angle kind, um, the pressure just over time gradually sneaks a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and the eye has time to get used to that, so it doesn't have the pain, but the uh, the nerves start to take the damage from that type. But the the sudden um, spike in pressure. The eye doesn't have time to adapt, and the, the damage can occur right away. If you have severe pain in your eye, you need to get help right away because if you do try to just take an aspirin and go to bed, the damage is occurring, and it's occurring suddenly. Got it. All right. Okay, good. So um, I think that's about a glaucoma. I mean, I, so, so basically, you know, again, if you, if you find it early enough, uh, you can start slowing it down so that, as you uh, said, you you die of very old age uh, and haven't yet got blind, uh, and that in itself, of course, is a good thing. All right, wonderful. Yeah, well, we look at the optic nerves in a routine eye exam, and if they look suspicious, like there's been damage to the nerve, then we can do things like a visual field test. It's a computerized test that you click if you see the light, and it's um, presented to you bright and dim, and we try to see how dim you can go before you can't see it anymore. We can compare that with other people your age to see if you're in the normal or if you're less than normal, and that helps us to know, too, if you're starting to have glaucoma. So there's lots of ways we can check for glaucoma. Pressures wow. of the eye and are important, too. And once you do find it is, you can do things to arrest it, you know, the progress. You can't can bring back the vision which was lost, but you can uh, slow it down the, the progress of it getting worse. Exactly. Again, uh, glad we're having doctors out there. Thank you very much.